Today I'm going to teach you how to make the craziest CRT effects for music videos and After Effects super easily. Let's go. As you see right here, we have the man himself, Travis Patty Scott. Me and Trav, we go way back. You just know that. All right, I'm gonna get into the tutorial. So shout out to Pelly. He sent me over his new CRT fusion pack. It's a bunch of CRT presets. And I'm telling you, these are probably the most realistic ones I've ever seen like ever. I, I create CRT effects. I've been making CRT effects for like years. I even have my own CRT overlay pack and this one is pretty damn accurate. The fact that it's literally just an emulator in After Effects. So I'm gonna show you what they pretty much look like and how they work. Once you install the presets, you go to your effects and uh, presets and you search for Fusion. And then you're gonna see there's this folder of Fusion presets right here. There's three folders inside of them, CRT, Grunge, and Y2K Fusion. Now each of them have their own vibe, aesthetic, and style. They're all pretty crazy and we're gonna get into them. So let's Let's go ahead and start with CRT darkness, right? I just click on it, drag it and drop it onto my clip and instantly I have some crazy looking CRT effects. Right now I'm, I'm literally on the half resolution mode just so I can load it pretty quick. But you can see this looks absolutely insane. If we set it to full too, you'll see the full like resolution of this quality. You can zoom in, you can see like some of the actual pixels. And overall, it just really creates an authentic looking CRT effect. I'm telling you, this is probably one of the best ones I've seen in a while. Everything about it from the flicker, the glitch, everything. If you want to change anything, of course, you can go ahead and adjust these settings over here. Maybe if you want more scan lines, you can increase them. Or if you want less, you can adjust those settings as well. If you want to change stuff like the color, you can also do that as well. Or the brightness and how much you want showing. It's completely customizable. He made it super easy to use. So let's go ahead and undo this and delete this one. What I actually Actually recommend doing is making a new adjustment layer and then I would apply those CRT effects on top of it so let's try one more over on the CRT ones maybe we'll do we'll do night CRT and we apply that I'm assuming it's gonna be green oh it's purple it's purple oh this one looks crazy something about flicker just makes it feel like super energetic and then this one has like a bunch of pixels too this is crazy let me zoom in yo on full resolution this looks insane it's just gonna take forever and might blow up my computer uh, because these are pretty heavy effects but as you can see they emulate the actual like pixels of the screen they have the color the distortion there's like a bunch of glow to it overall it looks really cool one thing i would actually add gonna customize um i would add an optics uh optics compensation maybe and then we'll add that to our adjustment layer and <clears throat> this what this is gonna do is it's going to make it like a tv so if i increase the scale then we get this like bulgy like you know kind of warped tv scale and then that way i can literally just go ahead and zoom in and then we get like an actual authentic looking crt tv screen because it's actually curved with the screen that's pretty crazy let me just try a couple more from these other two folders so we got grunge fusions over here let's see what these look like this is digital grunge over here i'm gonna apply this oh i see so this one's kind of more like omno diffusion lines Type, maybe these ones definitely give like a VHS vibe. Oh yeah, this one looks crazy, dude. These are just so stylistic. This is this is insane. You know what I even add on top of this? If you got the uh, there's one plugin that's called NT uh, C R S. Yeah, this one. It's free, and you add this on top. This might be this might go crazy. Whoa, hold up, hold up. Yeah, you do this, and then you maybe increase some detail. Yeah, you can, you can definitely get some crazy vibes going on here. It looks like super, super VHS, like digital. He honestly cooked on this. I'm not even gonna lie. I can't, I can't lie. He cooked. Let's go ahead and see what's in that last folder. So we did the CRT one, we did the grunge ones. Let's see the Y2K one. Ice Y2K. I apply this one. Whoa, this one looks crazy. I love the invert vibe. This is giving like some net spend stuff. Definitely should do that on net spend one. Sapphire Metro. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, this looks super grainy. Oh, and it's kind of got some like posterized time to it as well. Wow, very impressive. So we have the CRT effects. How do you actually make this look cool? What are some cool use cases, right? So let's say um, in the beginning of this clip, right? I wanna, I wanna make it so that it like kind of just pops in. We got this clip of trap. So right here when he's doing this like this motion with his neck, I wanna have the, the effect come in and like hit really hard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit shift A and add a new adjustment layer. That's my, my hot key for adding adjustment layers. Side plug, I'm gonna use my Shake It Up V2 Hit Camera Shake. So I'm gonna use hit number three with a flash right here. And then I'm gonna drag and drop this one to the top adjustment layer. So the top adjustment layer is this camera shake. We got this camera shake going to the side as he makes the same motion. And then what we'll do is right after the camera shake is done, it will cut to the CRT effect. And then, yeah, this is looking insane. So it's camera shake and then glitch effect, yo. That's crazy. Let me let me switch this one up. Let me try one of his other fusion effects. I'm kind of not digging that one. Maybe we'll do Y2K tape look. 
Whoa, that looks super distorted. I really actually like the, the first round of CRT stuff. Ultra Y2K CRT. Maybe we'll do Lost Tape. Oh, Lost Tape actually looks pretty sick. What I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna make the scene just a little bit brighter. So as you can see, look at all these controls and like effects he's added to this to just make it absolutely insane. Wow, I'm, I'm like still scrolling. This is insane, there's this many effects on here. As you, I mean, this is obviously why it's taking a long time to render, but this is crazy, this is commitment. To get to these level effects, I mean, the fact he did this for like three giant folders, I don't even know exactly how many presets are in here, maybe, oh, okay, we got 60, so 60 presets, he did this for 60 of them. Each of them are custom. That is crazy. That is some commitment, seriously. So as you can see, we have this crazy hit motion and cuts to the CRT effect. What are some other cool use cases? One video that immediately came to mind is the Aria video by ASAP and Pharrell. Shout out my boy Pop Jess. He actually did the CRT effects for this original TV effect right here in the music video. And he actually had to use a real CRT TV to record the videos and then translate them and do the, all, all the effects and stuff. It takes a lot of time. So now you can actually create this effect in just one click all inside of After Effects with these fusion presets. So let's go ahead and try this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna go ahead and track this footage, right? So I have to go over here to this right panel. I'm gonna hit tracker and then I'm gonna hit track camera. Now really quickly, you wanna make sure that your composition settings, you hit composition and then you go to composition settings are the exact same pixels of your video clip. So if your video clip is you can go ahead and see what your video clip is also by clicking over here. So it'll tell you my video clip is 1562 pixels by 1080. So I wanna to go to composition and hit composition settings and then change my width to 1562 and then height to 1080. And then there we go, we have a good comp and it actually completed our camera tracking. So if we go back to our effects and presets, we click on our camera tracker, we see the 3D flowers. This is what I like to call them. The 3D flowers are tracking points. Now we're gonna select four tracking points that resemble the TV. So it looks like we got one right here. We're to hold command and select all these tracking points and one right there nice we got a cool surface of our tv we're going to right click this we're going to hit create solid and camera and voila just like that it has added a cube solid that we can now add effects to so i'm going to scale this square up so that it's fitting the whole screen maybe we'll rotate it just a bit so that it is covering everything this is what my friend pop just had to do like manually uh, and then on top of that he had to create those crt effects manually as well so the fact that y'all are able to do this in one click, you guys are spoiled. That's what it means, you're spoiled. No, but seriously, you are in a good way because you can save time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click this solid right here and then I'm going to pre-compose it. We're gonna hit leave all attributes in the, the main comp. You don't need to select this move all attributes to new comp. Hit okay and it looks like nothing happened, but don't worry, you click, double click on your layer and voila, we have a new comp with just our square. So now I can go back to this footage over here that we've like added effects to, right? And then I can come back to our track comp like this, which is our little square cube. We hit Command V to paste everything. And then instantly, and then instantly we got these crazy CRT distortion effects going on that we applied all earlier. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna brighten up the screen a bit. So I'm gonna come here to the master lightness on our hue saturation, increase that just a bit. And then maybe we'll also do, you know what I can also just add is an, uh, a Lumetri color effect. So let's go, oh, oh, never mind. Curves are right here. So the curves will increase the light for us. So we'll bring this down. Maybe we'll bring this more to the top. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So now we have some more glow going on. Okay, it's kind of it's kind of coming along together. By the way, we're in third, so if we change it back to full, you can kind of get a better visual of what's going on. Okay, now I come back to my main comp where I tracked it, and voila, now we have our music video CRT effect tracked to the screen. Now, what I would do to make this even look more realistic is I would use the deep glow, or you can use just the standard After Effects glow, it doesn't really matter. And then I would apply this to our tracked comp, and then, then we have like this glow of the screen and it feels so much more realistic because the light is bleeding off into the side and it's not just staying on the TV, you know? Oh, even look at this ghost CRT one right here. This is crazy. This gives me like such OPM vibes. And then if I add a, a deep glow on top of this, because you can, you can spice it up too. As I always say, you know, mess around with it, have fun, customize it. You are a creative. Yo, this looks crazy. Anybody seen this? <laughs> yeah, have fun with it. Seriously, this is a really fun one. So if you wanna check it out, it's all linked down below. And for a special, special limited time only, because I like you guys and because you guys watched the full tutorial, I'm gonna be giving away this exclusive discount for the Fusion Pack if you use this code right here at checkout, link below. So please make sure to check it out. Editing visuals didn't even pay us for this. This is completely my own opinion. Now that you have the CRT emulation down, if you wanna check out how you can add CRT overlays like this to your videos as well, you can check out this video linked right here.